Hi, my name is Keith Tier. I'm the CEO and founder of Just On Me and um, a partner at Archimedes Labs where we incubated Just On Me. What I want to do today is demonstrate Just On Me to you so you get a good idea of what the application does. But before I do that, just uh, by way of introduction, uh, my background um, in brief is um, uh, I was the founder of the UK internet service provider EasyNet along with David Rowe, my co-founder. Um, that was in 1994. EasyNet uh, became a pan-European ISP during the uh, middle to late 90s, eventually in 29 European countries. Uh, it still is very significant today as a business-to-business -business ISP with a major fiber network acquired from Marconi. Um, the company did an IPO in 1996 and in 1998 I moved to Silicon Valley and started Real Names Corporation together with Jean-Marie Hulot who was the Chief Technology, sorry, Chief Technology Officer from Next and um, later from Apple. Um, Real Names uh, during 1999 uh, filed for an IPO with Morgan Stanley valued at around one and a half billion dollars and at the same time EasyNet uh, had a market cap roughly in that range in in the UK a little bit less I think. Um, Real Names was a global naming system uh, allowing the um, uh, non-English speakers around the world to type their web addresses in their own language. We basically registered keywords in any language in the world and mapped them to URLs and through a partnership with Microsoft um, enabled those keywords to be typed into a browser um, and you were able therefore to navigate to a web page using Chinese or Japanese or Korean or indeed even English uh, with uh, using words or phrases. Um, in 2005 I co-founded TechCrunch with Michael Arrington. Um, TechCrunch was acquired by AOL in late 2010 and at that point Archimedes Labs uh, in January 2011 uh, came into being. Uh, I partnered with Cambys Hushman, a former Cisco executive, and we set about incubating companies. Um, and that is where Just Me came from. Just Me was one of the first companies incubated uh, at Archimedes Labs. We started the project in late 2010 conceptually. In January 2011, um, put an initial team together um, and by the spring of 2011, managed to raise venture funding from Google Ventures, True Ventures, um, Crunch Fund, uh, Betaworks in New York, uh, Ron Conway, Silicon Valley Angel and, and, and uh, some other individuals. And in January 2012, um, raised our series seed financing, converting all of that into um, around with an additional 2.2 million dollars from Vinod Coastler's Coastler Ventures uh, and True Ventures. Uh, that got us to the point where we were hiring a team and by the end of 2012 we beat, built a complete platform for mobile social networking. Um, it's basically a messaging platform that has features of social networking and it's built on top of the mobile address book. Um, we launched in the App Store uh, uh, on iOS on the 16th of April and on the 11th of July on Android. So let's move to a demo. So let's start by searching for Just Me in the App Store. Um, as you can see, once you type it in, Just Me is the first result. And we just select it. We click on the little cloud icon to install the app. And after a little while, it's installed. And then we can open it. The first thing you see in Just Me is a welcome screen that explains that. Just means a messaging application. You can message all of your contacts with text or photos or voice or video. 
you can message them right away using the, the address book. They don't need to have just me in order to receive the messages because we use email uh, and SMS to, do, to send messages to your friends. They can comment, like, or reply with their own text or photos or video. And if they do that, their replies will create shared albums with shared content. Everything that uh, you save can also be saved privately for your eyes only. Or you can publish it for everybody, including to Facebook and to Twitter or Sina Weibo in China. And everything you do is saved in a private cloud. Now, the first thing you see with Just Me is this trending screen. This comes from the public part of Just Me. This is users from all over the world, typically having posted beautiful pictures or videos. And we put new users here so that they can enjoy content right away without having to publish anything or find their friends uh, on Just Me. Trending is an element of the public stream, as I said. And we can go to the live view of the public stream uh, and this is 100% of everything posted by users in over 212 countries that have so far installed Just Me in the first uh, 100 days since we launched. This is a message stream. It's got pictures and videos. Uh, messages can have multiple images, as you see, or just one. They can have images with video or images with audio, or all three, in fact and they can also have text. There's a lot of selfies in the public stream, that is to say people taking pictures of themselves to introduce themselves. It's possible to click on any of these images and go full screen. You can comment on or like images and the person who published them is notified if you do. You can click on a person's avatar, which is, um, brings up a little control panel, and it lets, you, uh, it lets you talk to them. But at that point, you have to register. So I'm going to register with my uh, email address. It forces you to register whenever you do anything active, like liking or commenting or publishing or wanting to follow somebody, which is what I just tried to do. So there we are. It knows I'm already a Just Me user, so it's offering to restore my existing account. I'm going to get an email to validate that I am who I say I am. So I go to my email. There it is. I click on Verify with Just.me. And the app will uh, now verify that I am indeed who I say I am and restore my account. There you go. I get a little message telling me that the account is restored. And now I can follow the person I was trying to follow because the app knows who I am. It can tell Dennis uh, that Keith Tier followed him. And having followed him, I can now send him text messages. I can comment on or like images. Uh, I'm a full citizen of Just On Me, if you like. Having, now that I'm validated. There's me going full screen to put a comment. Maybe we'll like this ice cream. I think it's ice cream. I can turn into landscape mode so I can see better. Add my comment. And uh, the, the person who posted this, Dennis, will be told that I added the comment through a notification. So we have full end-to-end -end social features, commenting, liking. We can reply to these messages as well with our own images if we want. Let's go back to trending. I can look at my own posts there. This is all my own posts. Just my public posts, because I'm in the public stream. I 
and back to live again. You can do slideshows in live, of course. And there's also a conversation view. That's when you click on a title and you get to see not just the original message, but any replies to that message in a thread. If I do a reply myself, I can go to my photo gallery. I can pick a photo. It was a food photo, so I'll pick one as well. Although you can't see the food very well here. You get the idea. <clears throat> but I won't click send because I don't want to add my photo to theirs. Uh, on the right hand menu, we can do new messages. We can do a, an image based message, a video message, a voice message, or a text message. And we can add any of those types to a message. These are just starting points to begin a message. On the left hand side, uh, we have the menu which allows you to navigate, which we'll get to in a second. Here's the left hand menu. Uh, private, shared and public messages are all there. This is my private message stream, only I can see those. And here's my shared messages. These are messages between me and people who I shared with. Um, these can be either sent to me by others or messages I sent to them. And then back to public. So let's start with an image based message. Let's take a picture of my whiteboard. There you go. Uh, we, we can see there's a little film strip that comes along the bottom. Let's take a picture of my screen as well. There's two pictures added. Uh, we can change the media type to video and add a video to this. That's adding the video. And if we want to, uh, we could add a little voice memo that tells us what it was we were doing. Just a short voice memo there. The green buttons go up and down as we speak. And now we've added two pictures, we've added a video, we've also added a little voice memo. The combined message um, has all of those four items in it. Sorry, the screen's froze a little bit there. There are the four items, we can review them uh, right here in the stream. We can play back the videos or the audio if we want, we can delete things. Uh, then eventually we choose whether we want this to be private, which is literally for your eyes only, shared, in which case you can use the address book, click the plus button, you get into your address book. You can add individuals or even groups. Here's four groups uh, that the app remembered because I messaged these people before. We don't have to create these groups, I just message people. Uh, and if there's more than one, the app remembers that that's a group and offers it back to you for subsequent messages. So I can choose this one, just me demo, and the four recipients from that message will also be recipients of this message. We can also just add individuals to that list if we want to make a new group. There we go. That's my wife I'm adding. Now it's the group plus an extra one. I uh, can also add people with email addresses or with phone numbers. Um, if they don't have just me, they'll receive this message either via email or via SMS. Uh, there it says Kevin Nielsen via just.me, so the app also knows who does and who doesn't have the app installed uh, and whether or not they can receive a message via just.me. You see it says uh, send up at the top right there, that's because it's shared. Now we change to the public option where we can add Facebook and Twitter as well if we want, and it says publish. So we can save, we can send, or we can publish. Save it for ourselves, send it to others, or publish it for the world. Uh, we give it a title here. That's not always necessary with Just Me. And I kept this one private, so it's gonna to go to my private message stream. If 
be changed to private now. We're going to see that it'll, it's already gone to the server and it's coming back down from the server to my phone. And there it is with the pictures and the video and the audio that we recorded. And that's now a private memory just for myself. I can actually reply to that message myself if I want with other whiteboard pictures, for example, uh, and that will create a collection in my private area. The shared messages area is um, very similar. Uh, the only difference is that um, the people in there are in my address book or I've messaged before. So now we can click on that avatar and all of the functionality, including sending them a video message, for example, is there. I'm going to send a core video message here. Um, just saying hi. We'll record the message and uh, then we can send it. It already knows to send it to him. I give a little title telling him yes to the question he was asking me and uh, he'll get that video message. Uh, we have a profile. It includes uh, all of my identities. I, I validated these because I want other people who have me in their address book to be able to know that they can message me on just me using any of the identities they have for me in their address book. So I validated all of mine. We also have a history and the history is our future timeline. Uh, today it's pretty text-based but it's an active text-based history. It's got everything we do on Just Me. Uh, I can click on any item and I'll actually go to the content for that item as we see here. And in future we'll bring this content into the history itself so it'll be much more visual history. Has everyone liked our stuff? Everyone have followed us? Are we followed? Uh, if they follow us, we can message them right there from within the history and uh, send them a message. I won't actually complete this one and send it because they'll be a little bit surprised to get it, but you get the idea. Let's cancel that. Um, here we are back in the left-hand menu with all the other navigation items. The contacts item starts by coming up with this little help screen at the top there. It allows you to invite your friends. Um, it also uh, lets you uh, invite them using either phone numbers or email addresses. So here I'm choosing two people with phone numbers. They'll get an SMS inviting them to just.me. It lets you manage groups and those temporary groups that the app remembers can be turned into permanent groups. If I give this one a name, the Four Horsemen, uh, these are four investors in Just Me. Um, and I message them quite often, so I'll make it a permanent group. And now we've got a permanent group up there, the Four Horsemen. Uh, every individual here is actionable. So if I click on Jonathan, uh, I can send Jonathan a message and I can do this with anyone in my address book. If I have a phone number for them, it'll add a call button there. There you are. Adrian has a phone number in my address book so I can call him and that'll use the native dialer on the phone to do that. So if we wanted to uh, place a call, let's say to, uh, I don't know, let's, uh, let's choose someone. And these, by the way, are just the Just Me members in my address book. It's a filter, as you can see, on, on Just Me. If I wanted to call Vinod Kostler, I can click on his icon there and I can place a call to Vinod or I can send him a message on Just Me. So that's the contact address book. It's a fully featured uh, address book, upgraded from the native address book to include group management and uh, calls. So that's Just Not Me. Um, the app is... Is, uh, is pretty revolutionary. It's moving the center of gravity for social networking from Facebook-like centralized social networks to take advantage of the phone's address book. Uh, in, uh, in 2012, 12 trillion messages were already sent smartphone to smartphone. Um, 
without needing a social network to facilitate the messaging between friends or colleagues or family. Uh, 12 trillion is a big number. The, the total number of messages sent on Facebook last year was only 360 billion. This year, um, over the top messaging, that's to say smartphone messaging using apps, is already grown to be bigger than SMS. And it's anticipated that about 19 trillion messages will be sent. There is about 1.2 billion smartphone owners today. Uh, we believe that Just Me is um, updating smartphone messaging to be more fully featured, capable of using more media types, capable of lev leveraging the entire address book without needing to invite people or join a social network, and represents uh, a, a binding together of the mobile phone, the address book, and the cloud to create the first truly distributed social network that the world has known, one that doesn't require a centralized social graph like Facebook.